The bodies of 27-year-old Mache Melendez and her 7-year-old daughter Layla Stewart were found near Washington on Wednesday. Sheriff's Office responded at about 9.40 a.m. to a report of suspicious circumstances. A man walking his dog reported finding what he thought were two life-size mannequins down the embankment in thick brush. Off Southeast Wooding Road near Sunset View Road, according to the agency, when deputies arrived about an hour later, they found two people deceased. Vancouver police detectives were soon notified and responded. The police department tentatively identified the bodies as those of Marche Carmen Melendez, age 27, and her daughter Layla Stewart, age 7. Family members were notified according to Vancouver Police. The Sheriff's Office Major Crimes Unit is investigating the scene where they were found, which Skidmore says is considered a homicide investigation. Kim Cap, a Vancouver police spokeswoman, said the department considers the missing persons case closed, calling it a very tragic resolution. 27-year-old Kirkland Warren was named as a person of interest in their disappearance. Warren has a checkered past with pending charges from previous incidents. In November of 2017, Warren allegedly shot his passenger, 57-year-old Curtis Ergerhart, who did not survive his wounds. It is alleged that Warren dumped his body in a ditch near Stuggard, Arkansas. Warren told investigators he feared for his life. He was arrested in December in relation to what happened in November. Warren posted a $250,000 bond and was released. The following year in February 2018, he was officially charged with first degree and also abuse of a corpse. Two years later, in 2020, Vancouver police investigated Warren for possessing a stolen semi-automatic. He surrenders it to the police, which remains in evidence. Then in 2021, Warren lies on an application to buy a 9mm semi-automatic by saying that he was not under indictment for a felony, even though he had a case pending. His application was denied. At the end of the relationship in December of 2022, Mache and Warren had an argument at her apartment. As he was leaving, Warren fired shots towards Mache's balcony window while she was standing there watching him. She didn't contact the police until Warren allegedly assaulted her a few weeks later. Mache reported both incidents and the police started an investigation. In February 2023, they interviewed a friend of Mache's who was present when the shots were fired. On March the 2nd, Vancouver police arrested Warren and he appeared in court the next day on his most recent charges against Mache. Clark County prosecutors assesses and finds that Warren posed an extreme risk with a score of 31 based on a scale of 1 to 18. They also made mention of the act of homicide case in Arkansas. The judge placed a no-contact order on Warren and gave him a $100,000 bond. Warren posted the bond that day, calls Mache a few hours later, violating the no-contact order. During the call, he blames Mache for his arrest and demanded that she figure out a way to get the charges dropped. The Clark County Court issues a citation. On March 6, Warren had to appear in court on the citation. The prosecutor asks that the court order 
GPS monitoring and a higher bail to be considered if Warren is going to be released. $10,000 bail and a GPS was ordered. The next day, the district court case is dismissed and added to Superior Court. However, he was not fitted for the monitor and he was released from jail. Mache and her daughter and Warren spent the night together at a friend's apartment on March 11th. Officers learned Melendez, Stewart, and Warren were seen leaving in a Burgundy Dodge Charger about 6 a.m. the following morning. A couple of days later, a motion was filed in the 2018 case in Arkansas by Jefferson County, which leads to a judge revoking his bond in that case. Mache's mom had not been able to reach her. They routinely talked by video chat. She contacted the police and made a report. That same day, police conducted a welfare check on Mache and Layla's apartment and no one was there. Her mother found her car a few days later in the 7800 block of Northeast Lewitt Loop in the Van Maul neighborhood. Police issued a missing persons bulletin to the public. Then the officer served warrant with a warrant on his car and residence. He was arrested on suspicion of tampering with a witness, unlawful possession of a firearm, violating a no contact order with Melendez. Her family felt let down by the court system and questioned why Warren was released after the first case. Both family members said they cannot believe Warren was released from jail after his arrest earlier this month, stemming from the December shooting. They also pointed to Warren's pending case for a 2017 homicide in Arkansas. Why would you not require an ankle monitor, they questioned. The court system failed Layla and Mache. They really let us down on that, they said. It's so crazy because it's been a week. Nobody has talked to them since the 11th. This guy has a week on us. We are searching random places, but it's like spitting in the wind. We don't know. Something definitely happened to them. Layla is always calling us. She's seven. She's calling just to be calling, said Kendrick Taylor, Layla's grandpa and Mache's stepdad. With her not calling auntie, uncle, me, and grandma, something is definitely wrong. Mache's brother said the last video chat with his niece Layla was on March 11th. It was because she wanted to show him her new kitten. The family says they believe the kitten was with Mache and Layla when they disappeared. A best friend of Mache since high school said the news rocked her, even though she knew something was wrong the moment the pair went missing. She was a really good mom, really, really good, the friend said. Layla was spoiled, like Mache never told Layla no, never told her no. Layla's closet is full of toys that she doesn't use. Genuinely, domestic violence is no joke, said the friend. Don't play around with stuff like that. Don't be like just letting men inside your house. Don't do it. If you see a red flag, go. Warren was arrested and appeared in court on March the 20th, then again on the 21st. The prosecutor asked for an increase in bond, and the judge agreed by later revoking it. The cause of death will be determined by Clark County's medical examiner's office. The family is grateful for all of the community support and have asked that we respect their privacy while they process and grieve. Her family and friends were proud of the woman she became as Mache was a good mother. She was said to be outgoing and a loving person. Mache was a real sweetheart who kept them all laughing. Layla was a bundle of joy that was full of life, and just like her mother, extremely outgoing. She has so much energy. Layla was in the first grade and will be missed by her classmates, friends, and family. It is despairing on the entire community. It was said that they were not allowed to reach their full potential and did not deserve what happened to them. Mache and Layla were loved by all that knew them. They were taken away from their loved ones, but will never be forgotten. Praying for the family and friends of Mache and Layla.